Namaste, welcome to Jellyfish Moon. So, hopefully you set up your remote control, your book, your drink and your treat and you can see it in front of you and it's there waiting for you as your reward for doing this. Come to the front of the mat, relax the body, take the hands to prayer. Take three easy breaths. If there's anything that's over us from the day you've had, we're just going to let that go now with our movement. If there's anything to celebrate, keep that in your heart. Drop the hands down smooth and easy, draw in the outskirts of the moon, reach the hands up to the sky, and take a stretch for the end of the day. Release the stretch by crumpling all the way down to the earth. Take the hands by the side of the hips. Have a little look at your reward over there. It'll taste so much better afterwards. And let the head fall down nice and low. Draw the tummy in, squeeze the feet towards each other, round through the spine. Lift up to the sky. And reach into that yawn again. Open the ribs. Good. Exhale, take the hands down. And into a prayer. You started, so you might as well finish. Let's go again. Release the hands down. Reach up to the sky. Lift the heart. And then release the day as you crumple down. Pour the thoughts out of the head. Swing the hands by the hips. Look over the edge of the mat, look to treat time, and release the head down and relax the spine. Take hold of the elbows, feet a little wide, mute yourself, and sway side to side. Loosening shoulders and that lower back, and give the head a little nod, I'm doing this. I got on the mat. Every day feels good when I get on my mat. Sink the hips a little low, take the arms wide and loop up to the sky. And take the hands back to prayer and step the feet in. Inhale, arms up and wide, stretch to the heavens. Crumple down, let all the air out of your tyres, release down to the mat. Swoop the hands, look over the edge of the mat, palms facing down this time. Shoulder blades together, a little look, oh there it is, and fold on down. Hands to the mat. Step back to all fours. Take a little moment just to set yourself up in the all four position. Spread the fingers, root the hands. Inhale into cow position, let the stomach relax on the tension of the day. As we go into cat though, we're going to press. Elbows press wide, tops of feet, chin to chest, open the back body. Inhale, back into that cow position. Take the feet a little wider than you would normally do and press into a comfortable wide-legged downward dog. And when you get there, just wag that dog's tail, shimmy from side to side. Keep the knees bent. Good, and take the chin slightly in towards the chest to open the back of your neck. Knees are going to come down to the mat as we land. So if the wrists are tired from the day, we go to utilise our block. Here it is. We'll be having that on the left side of us to begin. So take hold of that block if the wrist has been a bit sore. And we're going to swing the right leg just around the outside, there's no force or push. Just let it land where it wants to be. Take the hand onto the knee. Turn the chest. Good. Send the hip back. And we feel a lengthening on the outside of the hip. Open the chest to the side. Lower back, hip feels nice and free. Relax the neck. Hand comes back down to the mat. Good. You can keep the block there if you wish. We're going to look forward. We'll take the hand onto the knee and we'll step the leg comfortably wide. Pop the block on the other side. Ready? 
Give the hips a little wiggle. Root down into your big toes and heels and then draw the circumference of the moon with your arms. Open your heart. And then step back to the front of the mat, hands come to prayer. Take the arms open and wide, lift up again. Stretch for the heavens. Crumple down to the earth. Sweep by the feet. Trees waiting, it's looking good, looks better every time. All the way down to the mat. Step the legs back for an all four. Again, set yourself up into a good, strong foundation. Into the cow position. Let the body rest and digest. Good. And then the opposite feeling. Arch back, press the toes in, shift the chest a little, squeeze the pelvic floor. Come back to a pretty much a neutral shape. Just pop the feet a little wide, not too much. And press back into a downward dog. Here you know they can then send the heels out. Sink the knees, tailbone up. And press the heels slightly out as you look to the back edge of your yoga mat. Turn the head gently side to side. As if you can just shake out some of those repetitive thoughts that you don't want to take into treat time. Uh-uh. My time, treat time's coming, so off you go, thoughts. You've no use to me now. Knees come back down to the mat. Good. Hand comes onto the block so we don't irritate the wrist. And left leg is going to join us on the outside of the mat. Good. We'll stack the knee above the heel. We'll slide the hand onto the knee. We take the turn of the chest, a gentle twist into the lower spine. Slide the hand onto the hip. And press that hip back. Take a little bit of length. You can twist and turn. Make some nice little manoeuvres. Turn the foot out maybe 20, 30 degrees more. Good. Stretch through that spine and the ribs. And then we come back again. Hand stays on the knee, if you wish. Hand on the block. And then step the leg to the outside. We can get rid of the block for now. It's done its purpose. Hands on the knee. A little wiggle of the hips side to side. Sink the hips, send the knees wide, and reach up to the sky. Like the rising moon, reach and step back. Inhale, arms up to the sky, keeping this into a cool, releasing practice. Reach and crumple. Oh, let it go. Inhale, look to the tree. Yes, it's going to be me time any minute now. And forward fold, let it go. Stepping back to the all fours once more. Reroute again, establish your firm base. Arch the spine, let the belly soften. Curl into that cat position, tailbone, let it ripple through the spine, press into the earth. Neutralise the spine, tuck the toes, little wide, wide leg down with dog. And then a little padding of the feet. Just let the heel up, the heel down. And let that ripple through the spine, the neck and the shoulders. Cooling the body, freeing it. And then come steady and still for a moment, sending the weight back. Good, and then just take that little yes action with the head this time. Shaking out. Repetitive thoughts, you're just not serving me. And you ain't coming on the sofa for my drink and my treat, okay? So you can just stay on this lap, thank you very much. Knees land back down to the yoga mat. Good. Stepping the right leg around the outside. We're going to go into that lovely twist again, but this time, if it's feeling a beginner jellyfish or a jellyfish move, arm up to the sky, lift. Lengthen it back, just find some space to go into your shoulder, hip, any which way that makes everything loose. Hand back down onto the knee, press your knee. High fingertips, look forward. As you press into the knee, supporting the leg coming wide. Land the elbows on the knees and press the knees a little apart. Good. Sink the hips and be that rising moon. Oh. And step to the centre. One more round of this. Arms open and wide. Crumple. Feet round all the way down. 
release. Good. From here, look to treat time. Lift and lower. Stepping back to the all fours. From here, spread the fingers, root them again. Wide leg down the dog, send it back. This time we're going for the stillness. We're just going to feel it go into the calves. The only place I'd like to take a bit of maneuver to is slightly pressing the heels out and just drawing the pelvic floor in. Knees are going to come down to the mat. So, invite left leg around the outside. Hand comes on the knee. You can take a little lean forward, jellyfish the arm up to the sky, and then move the body. Do you want to rock the hip back? Do you want to rock it forward? What's been going on in the day? The hand is loose, the neck is loose. Twist and turn. Hand comes back onto the knee. Gaze is forward, because that's the way we're going. Press into the knee for good purchase. And the foot to the side. Elbows onto the knees. Sink the hips, loosen them shoulders, and rise again. Good. Step to the centre. This time I'd like you to bring your feet close together. Toes are connected, heels are apart, hands to prayer for a moment, find balance. Hands come onto the hips, shoulders soften down. Slightly tuck the tailbone under and a softness in the knees. Just feel a bit of tension above the pubic bone. As you soften the knees and the tailbone comes under, we feel just a little alivening here. I'd like you then to take the right arm up to the sky. Reach on up, press out into the right hip and take the hand behind the head. Lay the head into the hand and open and feel the whole of that right side of body from the outside edge of foot, hip, armpit to elbow. And then open the arms out wide to increase the balance feel. And hand goes on the hip. We rotate the shoulders. And we open the side body. We keep our balance. Reach the arms out wide again. Take a moment to instill our jellyfish arms to loosen our neck and shoulders. We're going to step the right foot behind the left for balance. We're then going to lean all the way over like we're spinning the moon. And we look to the earth. Take the arms out wide, keeping our jellyfish hands to get in the move. And then we'll spin, taking the left arm over the top. The right arm encases the lower body. Keep the fish like jellyfish, gliding through moonfish. Swoop. And take this a couple of times at a pace and a movement that suits you, affecting balance and strength in the feet, keeping the shoulders loose, hands like those lovely jellyfish. So by doing the jellyfish hands, we release all the tension out the neck, out the shoulders, from the day that may be long. We'll take one more round together. One more to the other side. And then back to a central position, arms open wide. Exhale, hands go down. One more release before you come off the mat. Inhale, hands up to the sky. Take the hands around the back of the head, round the chin into the chest, feel the separation at the back of the shoulder blades. Knees go soft, round ourselves down, all the way down, all the way down. Suck the thoughts out of the head, take hold of the elbows, we sway, we sway, and let go of today. Oh, what are we doing? Let me go. It's done that. Well done, us. And now we know it's coming up to what we deserve. Relax the arms down. Squeeze the feet slightly towards each other. Roll up through the spine. 
peel the shoulders back, palms forward, take a full inhale, a little more, and gently lower the lips. Another day, I've got my yoga habit. Namaste. Time for the treat. Guilt free treat. <laughs> How perfect is that? <laughs>